Dr. Cutter here with the Chainsaw Hospital and uh, today we're going to be working on the chain for Kevin the XL101 and uh, so you can see this has got kind of a little rust action going on the chain should not set like that it should be like kind of like that so what we're going to do is try to try to get this stuff loosened up so we can actually reuse this chain uh, I'd like to keep it on there it's going to need to be sharpened probably set the rakers uh, all that kind of good stuff so uh, let's go ahead and get this in some some croil I think we're going to use some croil on here to see if we can get it loosened up if that doesn't work we'll try something else got our uh, bucket here and uh, this is just a bucket I use for soaking things I've got a couple spots on here this one's a little tight too if you can see that yeah you, of course you can see that uh, and then our original original tight spot there so I'm just going to lay this in the bucket and uh, try to get those parts that were were in rough shape on the bottom just like that and then I'll uh, this this bucket's kind of uh, the perfect size for this and we're going to use this cano croil it says it loosens frozen metal parts and we're going to test that so um, here we go we're just going to dump some on there put some on the rest of the chain and I'll come out periodically I'm going to let it soak for a few days probably before I get back to it so I'm just going to have the bucket tilted up on edge like that and see if I can uh, you know get those parts to loosen up just want to talk about this chain real quick we left off with the uh, leaving the chain in that croil for a couple of days and uh, it ended up completely loosening up this chain to where it's usable again so that's pretty neat it worked great uh, you can't even really see where the rust was uh, but you know we had some of these links that were just too tight to even move and uh, and it took care of that so that's that's awesome uh, so what I did after that is I just dropped it in a bucket with some um, uh, bar oil and just let it kind of soak in there and then I just wiped everything down when I pulled it out so it's it's completely ready to go now there's no no issues or anything like that so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sharpen this up on our grinder and uh, go ahead and fix these edges. You can see some of these teeth are just completely, these cutters are completely rounded off. We've got to do a little dental work to them, sharpen them up some. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Got the chain set up on the grinder here. We got a 55 degree um, angle there, 25 over here for the top plate and uh, no no 10 degree um, down angle so um, we're good to go here and I've got my my stop set up right here to uh, to the depth I want it you know far enough back there to get enough bite on it and uh, so let's see what we can do here We're just going to go around here and sharpen all these teeth up and get a nice, nice profile on there just like that. I'm going to use this kit that came from Husqvarna after we went ahead and sharpened these teeth up and they are, they're good to go. Need to go ahead and knock these rakers back a little bit. There we go. That's perfect. All right. Well, let's start this thing up and see how it sounds. I've got my high high idle set here. That's uh, it's not exactly right yet, but it's getting there. All right, it's kind of feeling like it's got an air leak, so maybe we'll investigate that, but those clutches still need to be fixed too. 
but uh, all in all, it, it seems to run pretty good.